After the age of 60, something alarming begins to happen. Your body can start losing muscle at a surprisingly fast rate. In fact, studies show that adults over 60 can lose up to 3% of their muscle mass every year if nothing is done about it. And this isn't just about looking fit. Muscle is your engine. It's what helps you walk, climb stairs, lift groceries, and stay on your feet. But when muscle starts to waste away, so does your mobility, strength, and stamina. Simple tasks like standing up from a chair or walking across a room can become challenging. And here's where it gets even more serious. If you fall sick and you've already lost a significant amount of muscle, your chances of bouncing back drop drastically. Why? Because muscle isn't just for movement, it's your body's emergency reserve during illness. It fuels your immune system, helps you recover faster, and keeps you out of the hospital bed. That's why in today's video we're going to reveal the one underrated vitamin that can help rebuild your muscle while you sleep. And here's the shocking part. Over 70% of seniors are deficient in it without even knowing. If you're over 60 or love someone who is, this could be one of the most important health videos you watch this year. Before we dive in, please tap that like button and subscribe to our channel. It helps us reach more seniors who need this vital information to stay strong, stay independent, and live longer, healthier lives. Let's get into it. Before we get to the important vitamin that can help rebuild your muscle while you sleep, it's crucial to talk about three other nutrients that are absolutely essential. Because let's be honest, rebuilding lost muscle isn't magic. Your body can't build what it doesn't have the raw materials for. Certain nutrients must be present, or muscle growth simply won't happen, no matter how many supplements you take. And the most indispensable of all is protein, specifically high-quality bioavailable protein. When it comes to stopping or reversing muscle loss in seniors, nothing happens without protein. According to research published in the Journal of the American Geriatric Society, older adults need more protein than younger people to stimulate muscle protein synthesis. Yet, the sad truth is, most seniors are severely under-consuming it. Studies have shown that nearly half of older adults don't meet even the minimum recommended daily protein intake, which can accelerate a condition called sarcopenia, the progressive loss of muscle mass and function. That's why whey protein is often highly recommended for seniors. Why whey? Because it's one of the most easily absorbed sources of protein, rich in leucine, an amino acid that plays a key role in triggering muscle growth. A 2012 study in clinical nutrition found that elderly individuals who consumed whey protein after resistance training gained significantly more muscle than those who didn't. If you're not a fan of dairy or can't tolerate whey, there are still great alternatives. Look for pea protein isolate, hemp protein, or rice protein blends. These plant-based options can also support muscle maintenance, though they may require slightly higher doses to match the muscle-building effects of whey. And here's a critical tip. Timing matters. The best time to take your protein, especially if you're a senior, is either after light exercise like walking or resistance band training, or before bed. Yes, before sleep. A growing body of research suggests that taking protein before bedtime can stimulate overnight muscle protein synthesis, helping to repair and rebuild muscle while you rest. Now the second nutrient we need to talk about, before we get to the one vitamin that helps rebuild muscle while you sleep, is creatine. Most people think creatine is just for bodybuilders or young athletes trying to bulk up. But here's what the science is now making very clear. Creatine is one of the most powerful and well-researched nutrients for preserving muscle mass in older adults. As we age, our natural phosphocreatine stores in muscle cells decline, which directly impacts strength, stamina, and recovery. But supplementing with creatine has been shown to help rebuild these stores, giving your muscles the fuel they need, especially during resistance or strength-based movements like climbing stairs or standing up from a chair. In fact, a comprehensive meta-analysis published in the Journal of Gerontology found that older adults who supplemented with creatine while engaging in resistance training experienced significantly greater increases in muscle mass and strength compared to those who trained without creatine. But here's the really exciting part. Even without exercise, creatine supplementation alone has been shown to support muscle maintenance, improve muscle energy metabolism, and even enhance cognitive function, which is another major concern for aging populations. So how much should you take? Most studies recommend a daily maintenance dose of around 3 to 5 grams. It can be taken at any time of day, but many experts recommend combining it with your protein shake after exercise or in the evening with a small meal to maximize muscle uptake overnight. Now, a very important caution. If you have kidney disease, elevated creatinine levels, or have been advised by your doctor to limit protein or supplements, do not start creatine on your own. While creatine is generally considered safe for healthy individuals, 
anyone with existing kidney issues must consult their healthcare provider first. Safety always comes first, especially when kidneys are already under stress. So, between high-quality protein like whey and strategic use of creatine, you're already giving your body two major tools to fight age-related muscle loss. And now, for the third powerhouse nutrient, we have omega-3 fatty acids. When most people hear omega-3s, they immediately think of heart health. And yes, they're fantastic for your heart. But what many don't realize is that omega-3s also play a major role in preserving and even increasing muscle mass in older adults. Here's how. Omega-3s, especially EPA and DHA, help reduce chronic inflammation, which is one of the hidden enemies of muscle tissue. Low-grade inflammation, which becomes more common as we age, silently interferes with your body's ability to build new muscle fibers, even when you're getting enough protein and exercising. But that's not all. According to a study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, seniors who supplemented with omega-3 fatty acids for just six months saw a significant increase in muscle mass and strength, even when they weren't doing intensive exercise. The researchers concluded that omega-3s help boost the body's anabolic response. That means your body becomes more responsive to nutrients like protein and more effective at turning them into muscle. Another benefit? Omega-3s help improve muscle function, not just size. This means better balance, more stability, and reduced risk of falls, especially critical if you're already starting to feel unsteady on your feet. So how can you get more omega-3s? The best sources are fatty fish like salmon, sardines, and mackerel. But if you're not a fan of fish, high-quality fish oil supplements or algae-based omega-3s, for those who prefer plant-based options, can work just as well. Aim for at least 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams of combined EPA and DHA per day, unless your doctor recommends otherwise. And here's something you must know. If you're taking blood-thinning medications such as warfarin or aspirin, always check with your healthcare provider before starting an omega-3 supplement. And now, the moment we've been building up to, the one vitamin that quietly works while you sleep to rebuild muscle, restore strength and protect you from rapid age-related decline, is none other than vitamin D. This isn't just another trendy supplement. Vitamin D plays a profound role in muscle regeneration that no other vitamin can match. Research has shown that vitamin D receptors are found directly in muscle tissue, and when those receptors are activated, especially during rest and sleep, it stimulates protein synthesis, muscle cell repair, and strength restoration. In fact, one of the biggest reasons behind the widespread epidemic of sarcopenia is because the vast majority of seniors are severely deficient in vitamin D. A study in the Journal of Endocrinology and Metabolism found that low vitamin D levels were strongly correlated with weaker grip strength, lower muscle mass, and higher rates of disability in people over 60. That's why many experts now recommend a daily maintenance dose of 2,000 to 5,000 IU of vitamin D3, especially for those who get little sun exposure. But here's the critical warning. High doses of vitamin D should never be taken alone. Vitamin D must always be paired with vitamin K2, especially in doses above 1,000 IU. Without K2, vitamin D can cause calcium to deposit in the arteries instead of the bones and muscles, increasing your risk of heart problems. The ideal ratio is roughly 1,000 IU of vitamin D, 3 to 10 MCG of vitamin K2, preferably in the MK7 form. So, if you're taking 5,000 IU of D3 daily, you should be getting at least 50 MACG of K2 to stay safe and effective. But there's more. Vitamin D also increases your body's demand for magnesium, a mineral that's already lacking in most diets. Magnesium helps convert vitamin D into its active form, and without it, your supplementation may fall flat, or worse, cause side effects like cramps, anxiety, or irregular heartbeats. So, if you're supplementing with D3 and K2, ensure you're getting enough magnesium as well, ideally through foods like pumpkin seeds, spinach, or a high-quality magnesium glycinate supplement. Now let's not forget, no supplement can do it all alone. To truly protect and rebuild your muscle as you age, you need to move. That means daily walking, using resistance bands, or doing light strength training, even just bodyweight squats or arm lifts. Your muscles are like engines, they shrink when not used. And just as important, cut out the refined carbs. Sugar, white bread, pasta, they spike insulin, increase inflammation, and make it harder for your body to preserve lean muscle. Even so-called healthy whole grains can sometimes work against you if not balanced properly. Now, before making any significant changes to your routine or starting new supplements, please consult your healthcare provider, especially if you have underlying conditions like kidney disease, are on medications, or are unsure about proper dosages. 
And if this video helped you in any way, please hit that like button, subscribe, and share it with someone you care about. Because staying strong shouldn't be a mystery, especially as we age. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video with more practical, science-backed ways to keep your body thriving.